Hey everybody, JR Speecy here, another box break video, and today we're going to be opening up some 2001 Upper Deck Reserve Baseball. So what's good in this set? Well, you got Albert Pujols rookie in it, and memorabilia cards, and so on and so forth. Now, I bought this in that run of uh, kind of semi-vintage boxes recently, because we, you know, what do we say, 30 years old is vintage, is technically uh, the definition of a vintage item. Um, and these are, what, 18 years old, so, you know, I'll set my vintage. Anyways, I bought that big run of, like, 29 boxes, and this one was in there, and I noticed that it was ripped. So I was like, dang, that sucks. Hard to sell a box that's ripped, you know? I mean, this is the original packaging. And then I see that it was cut here and here and here. I'm thinking that was from a store, um... And, a, and the, another box was also, because this is retail, and actually three boxes had these same marks on them. This is the only one that was ripped to a point that somebody could get into the box if they wanted to. Alright guys, sorry my phone died. Uh, anyways, uh, so I noticed that this box, you know, could be opened and so on. So I just opened it and I checked the packs. And it's missing two packs. So, uh, I'm pretty sure with the two packs being missing that the memorabilia card, if there was one, is not in here. And I'm wondering if maybe the person who had these at one time, maybe the rookies were in the exact same spot in every box. So, maybe they pulled the memorabilia card and the rookie. I know the rookies are short printed. Uh, here's the info right there on these. Um, that's really about it. There's the odds, I think. Yeah. Let's give that a pause right there as soon as it comes into focus. There we go. Let me put autofocus back on. There's the there's that. So um, I'm just looking to see what the odds are on the rookies. It doesn't really give them, it just says that they're numbered. Out of 2,500. So, anyways, I'm um, I'm sure the rookie's gone out of this, and I'm sure um, the memorabilia card's gone, and I'm probably in this box for you know close to 100 bucks. But I just figured I just open it because I can't I can't in good faith sell it, knowing or at least thinking that the good stuff is gone because I don't want my customers buying something if I've got even a little bit of a shadow of a doubt that they're um, that there's, there's something missing, you know. I'm gonna just let me just put this up a little bit. Hold on a second. Hands are so big, it's kind of hard to get in here with the cards. So, all right. So for, right off the bat, we're just gonna hope that we get some Jeters or something. Clasco, Adrian Beltre, future Hall of Famer. I'll probably go through these and see if there's anything worth getting graded. Carlos Beltran, new manager for the Mets. Uh, they seem like they want to stick, but they're not sticking, so that's good. They're just a little bit extra tacky. So, yeah, so I'm imagine that the, the good stuff's out of here already. Mike Hampton, he was a good player for the Mets. Let's see, Manny Ramirez, Jim Tomei. Oh, okay, well, the rookie's in here. That's Travis Hafner rookie. And that is actually probably one of the best rookies in the set. Um... It's got a little tiny itty bit of itty bit of white, sorry, itty bit, I don't know how to talk. Tiny touch of white right there, but other than that, well, we got at least the rookie in here. Let me get the autofocus back on. So that's not horrible. I mean, it would be you know, quite a bit nicer if it was an Albert Pujols, but maybe maybe it's just maybe just two of the cards or or two packs were sold out of it. Because these came from a um, a card store, so maybe someone just bought two packs, and that's it. But I but back in this day, um, normally a memorabilia card pack would be thicker, so and there's no thick pack in here, so uh, so I don't think that there's a memorabilia card in here, so.
Maybe we'll get some cool inserts like this one right here on the back. Uh, something I can get graded maybe. Uh, Piazza Royalty. Uh, let's see. A little bit of white stuff up here. Can't tell if that'll come off or not, but I'll try it out later. Not serial numbered. But I'll check it out later and see if it's worth getting graded. Alrighty. Yeah, Robbie Almar, Matt Stairs, Bizio, Tony Clark, MLB Players Association President. Okay, Gary Sheffield, let's see here. So normally you don't want cards to stick because they'll can pull cardstock off of another card. These ones are just tacky, that's all. They're not actually sticking, they're just a little tacky. Sheffield. Chipper. Christian Guzman. Jeff Cirillo. And Tony Gwynn. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, I did a posted a video today of uh, a 2000, I'm sorry, 1990, 1990 Leaf Series 1 box I ripped. Ryan Giles, Ryan Dempster, Big Unit, Randy Johnson, Brady Anderson, sorry guys, these cards are not easy to slide around and stuff. Tim Hudson. Ben Sheet, Paul Canerco, Pedro Martinez, Kevin Young, Mike Lowell. Yeah, I bought all these boxes. I didn't want to open any of them, but like I said, this one right here is, you know, potentially tampered with, and I don't want anybody to buy something from me that's not, uh, that, that's not guaranteed to be on search, so. Nice Cal Ripken there, Trevor Hoffman. You know how it goes. You gotta keep your trusted dealer. Um, oh, 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 my man! Hopefully that one looks pretty nice. Hopefully it's not too sticky back there. You gotta keep my uh, trusted, honest dealer persona going because that's how you stay in business, guys, doing the right thing. That looks pretty nice. That looks pretty nice. Let's put that one in the sleeve here in a minute and get that baby graded. Heck yeah. I'm aw oh, you know I always hope to get a Jeter uh insert in this stuff. You can get base cards and stuff like that, but I always want to get a nice insert. And uh <laughs> with hopes of getting getting it graded and have come back a ten. That one looks pretty clean. That Piazza wasn't so nice, so so I'm pretty happy about that. Steve Finley, Greg the Professor Maddox, Brandon Inge, Barry Zito, Bobby Abreu. Okay, sorry guys. See, I don't like to slide the cards around because that's how you scratch them, especially with these super gloss surfaces and stuff. So it takes me a little bit longer to go through the cards, but you got to remember to... to uh, protect your investment and one way to protect it is the way that you handle them so you can always hit that skip button and just go 10 seconds at a time ahead of ahead of me when I'm opening uh, the next pack so Ken Caminetti rest in peace Gerald Williams Todd Hollinsworth Daryl Kyle rest in peace and the rocket and I'm dropping these cards you see on the pile and it's not going to damage them just to, just to let them fall flat down so you don't have to worry about that. Sometimes I see the way people handle cards and I'm just like, you know, they, the way they put them down is a little rougher than I like to see. <laughs> Katze, oh, Fernando Tatis Sr. He did really well back in the day with the Cardinals. 
and then the Mets. They come over and, and hit hit the long ball. Oh, look at that! Another dad of a great young prospect, Dante Bichette, father of Bo Bichette. There and there's dad. Great leadoff hitter back in the day. He's around for he was around for a little while. First dad was. All right, what do we got here, guys? Jim Edmonds, great ball player. Another nice Derek Cheater. We'll set that one aside and if I make sure that that white comes off. I think it's just old card stock. It's just kind of stuck on there. I don't think it's damaged or anything like that. Yeah, we've got a slightly white corner down there on the bottom. So I'll put them over here anyway, so. Just so I can put it with my other Jeters because Jeter is my favorite. Him and Mickey Mantle, favorites of all time for baseball. Anyways, baseball is my number one favorite sport, but I do like a couple, couple other players. Like I love Peyton Manning. I really like uh, Kurt Warner. I don't really have a. I mean, I like Tebow too. Nice Big Mac. I don't really have a, a current favorite football player though. If you guys watch my videos you know my current favorite baseball guys are you know I love Trout, Harper and Bryant. I love Judge. I'm, I'm liking Pete Alonzo because you know I'm a Mets fan and he did great this year breaking the rookie home run record. So that was wonderful to watch. Richard Hedell, go Bob Higginson. So I got, you know I got my guys there that I, that I like a lot. But Jeter is definitely my favorite. Ken Griffey Jr. Robin Ventura, he was good with the Mets while he was there. Mike Cameron, he's a good signer through the mail, and he's a great center fielder. Garrett Anderson, he's one of those could-be Hall of Famers. He had a great career. No steroid allegations either, so. Jock Jones. Andres the Big Cat Galarraga. Eric Karros. Saw him in uh, Cooperstown with um, Mike Piazza at the golf course when I got his autograph. His first year of eligibility, or when he got elected, I'm sorry. He had Eric Carroll there playing golf with him. Nobody asked Eric Carroll for his autograph, though. Pat Burrell, New Order. Pat Burrell, had a, he had a, a good minute in his career where he was doing real well. I don't know if that's a gold or if that's the way they all are. But I'll check out the odds after I'm done with this video. See if it's a parallel. It's not numbered though, so yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think I'm definitely not getting that memorabilia card, guys, in here. So we're just gonna have to eat this box. Dimitri Young had one of the best baseball collections. He had a collection of uh, Hall of Fame rookies, all PSA tens. So he had it for a while, then he ended up selling it off. But look into that. That was really interesting. Jay Payton, he's a fun player to watch. He swung at horrible pitches though. But, you know, sometimes he had, really, he had really clutch hits, swinging at a ball over his head, you know, or, or at his head, head level. So, uh, hard to complain about a guy who uh, who did who did pretty well, uh, had good success swinging at horrible pitches. All right, Kevin Brown, Javi Lopez, good career with the with the Braves. Greg Vaughn had a good career. JT Snow, he had a good good career, long career. I mean, it was, you know, I don't know, like super long, but I mean, you know, he had he had some playing time, which was good for him. Okay, let's see, guys. Then after this, I'll pause the video, and I'll do a quick recap on what I might get slabbed, okay? If you're interested. Corey Patterson, he signed through the mail for me really good. He was a great up-and-comer. And yeah, Mike Messina. All right, hold on. Let me take a look at these, and I'll show you what I'm going to get graded. All right, guys, I went through them, and, man, I had a lot more cards than I thought. Like, I had this, 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 um, and they looked good until I looked at them, and then this right here has a little scratch right here, as you can see in the light, a little something on the front there, so I couldn't do him. Gwen has a dimple. Right down here, as you can see, a little dimple, just enough to make it not a 10. Big unit, 
if you can see down here has uh it's hard to see okay anyway you trust me there's a scratch and then Tome had a slightly soft corner and the rest of these had a scratch on the bottoms I think yeah so see if you can see it here I might get a little light on here you really can't see it but there's a scratch here in the same spot on all three and it just goes up a little bit so those right there were all put, put away and not being used so these are the only ones I could find now I can't tell centering okay so some of these I saw you can see the whole whole word reserve with the E not cut off I don't know if that's the way centering is supposed to be but as you can see here these right here are slight the the, the borders different so I don't know if the smaller border is better or the larger the smaller border you get more of the E larger less okay so I'm just taking a shot on the Hafner I think the Jeter's a 10 uh, and then these ones right here uh, two of them are gonna be <laughs> two of them are gonna be better centered than the other two I guess because these two have a fatter left border these two have a slightly less so we'll find out um, this Jeter had just the slightest, tiniest touch of white right here, and I just, you know, you know me, I don't want to, I don't want to get it graded if it's going to, I mean, normally I, I'll do, a, uh, sorry guys, I'm trying to get this freaking thing to focus, normally I'll do a Jeter's with hopes of getting 9's and 10's, and this would probably get a 9, but I don't want to, I don't want to do it, so, and then the Piazza, uh, what was wrong with the Piazza? Piazza had just a little touch of white up here. Right there, you see that little white? It just had a little bit of white. I can't remember what else, but it, it's not going to be a 10 candidate. So, so whatever. So this box, you know, I, I, it's missing the, the, the good memorabilia card. But I got this Jeter. And I got a Hafner rookie, whatever. Maybe a couple more 10s here. Maybe it covers the price of the box after I invest 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, another 60 bucks or so. So we'll see. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Stop back and and uh, look out for more videos. I got a whole bunch more coming. And uh, going to do some 2019 Series 2 here soon. All right, later.